So I've been discussing a topic that was brought up by my ex-wife in front of my kids, in front of my in-laws in 2013 about um, porn and pleasuring oneself, masturbation. Now, I uh, did never want that to be a public topic. My ex-wife forced that to be a public topic, refused to talk to me in private, you know, screamed at me in front of God, my kids, and my in-laws about uh, when I was in Seattle for work, right before I got my horrible car accident on, on the way home from this job, um, I had watched porn, and it was on my computer, and it was a way that I was able to relax and go to sleep in a, th a three-day event where I drove all the way up to Seattle and all the way back and worked for three days. You know, I mean, and it was hard for me to get to sleep because, you know, all the work and all the driving and all the stress, I just couldn't sleep. So I used, you know, uh, visual, um, you know, stimulation to uh, arouse myself and to um, pleasure myself so I could go to sleep because that releases, you know, ox oxytocin and all these other you know, feel good, uh, hormones, um, you know, dopamine and serotonin and things like that are all released during an orgasm. So it did help me sleep and it did help me relax, especially in times of stress and in times where I wasn't with my wife or whatever. Um, so I've been told because I've talked about this on three other videos about this and, and starting all the way back in 2013 when she, you know, basically emasculated me over this in front of everybody. And uh, I made some videos over it because, you know, I told her before we got married that while I was on the road, that's something that happened, that the guys were watching it while I was on the road with them, and I didn't like their versions. It was awful. It was, you know, it was toxic. It was, you know, gross, and I wasn't into it, so I watched some soft porn on the hotel TV and charged it to the room, and I told her about it. She never put up any boundaries, never said that offended her, hurt her, or anything like that, just, you know, accepted that's how it was, and for 10 years, that's how it was you know, on a rare occasion, very rare occasion, because I worked and slept and, you know, ate and everything at home. I never had to really leave the house to make money. So I was always near her and I was always taken care of pretty good most of the time um, by her, unless we were fighting, you know, or disagreeing on something or she was punishing me for something. But otherwise, we had a pretty good, you know, sexual connection, um, the entire marriage up to that point. And then I told her because, you know, she got stressed and, you know, kind of fell out of wanting to, you know, take care of me and, I don't know, resented me and stuff. Um, and, you know, we fell kind of apart in that way romantically. And I told her, hey, if we're not going to be close and intimate, then why are we married? You know, let's figure that out. So things changed up a little bit. Everything was good for a couple months. And I got in that accident. And, you know, even though I took her aside and had a private conversation, she decided that she was going to have a very public conversation with me. And we, we talked about it. Well, she yelled and I listened. I didn't really have much of a discussion with her. She screamed and screamed and screamed and threatened and told me she was going to take the kids away from me. And I cheated on her and all this other stuff. It was not the case. Never touched another woman. Never flirted with another woman the entire time we were married. Ever. Turned down sexual advances wasn't into it. it wasn't my thing I was into one woman I was a one woman man I was married for 18 years never cheated anyway so I get thinking because I, I get shamed by her or maybe friends of hers you know why do you talk about that publicly why is that a public issue